Hello and welcome. This is Alchemist X, and today we're going to be doing a unit review of Asuka, the new rising star of the global units. Um, so this is going to be a little bit awkward because my Asuka is not raised at all. I have her sitting at zero limit breaks, and I barely have a fire or a rainbow shard right now because of certain units such as Adelaide. Um, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the information from like the unit planner that I mentioned in my last review of Fury and uh, showcase what she's capable of um, in terms of the raw numbers that way. And then I'm going to showcase a battle where I borrowed my friends like fully built, like totally beefed out Asuka just to show what she can do in a battle. So it'll be a little bit atypical. Um, it's just, I felt like this was a good idea just because Asuka went from being a unit almost nobody used. I wouldn't have called her bad, but it, many would have considered it foolhardy to use fire shards on her. And now I think that has gone 180. I think that she is definitely worth using, like ideally with her memento and such if you're lucky. But even if you don't, she could still easily be worth your while if you have fire shards laying around. And you're like, say you never got Adelaide or Mira or anything, and maybe you're either comfortable enough for the future unit named Resonator, or you're not planning on it. Um, so yeah, so what I've got up here on the screen right now is a showcase of, this is like the best case scenario. All her jobs are mastered, all her gates are mastered, max limit break memento, all three VCRs. Like, this is not... Um, you know, necessarily realistic, but it can show you like what she really could be. And um, one thing I wanted to say about how she is used is that she is a tank that can also do damage via P defense scaling. Now, if you have used Teona in the past, um, you would know what to expect here, except she's like Teona on steroids. Uh, Chloe has a little bit of it as well. But um, that's her general. Her general idea is you want to get her P defense as high as possible, uh, and then she starts countering like crazy. Uh, so it makes her hard to kill, and she just like will start wailing on enemies. Um, I've heard of people doing like 16k damage or so. I don't think any of them got that high in the battle that I'm going to show you, but it's still it's still pretty scary. So. Um, all right, I think I've given you enough time to look at the, the raw stats, um, plus you can always pause. Uh, next, let's take a look at her gate 2. Okay, so Asuka's gate 2 upgrades her barrier of Einherjar, and it was already good for her in the sense of it gives her a good scaling stat and more tankiness, and gate 2 uh, just kind of takes it up to 11 by adding a, a snowball when she gets hit, which is another comparison to Teona and structurally speaking. So this is a very very good gate too. Um, you may want to prioritize 5 over 2. Um, we'll look at 5 in a, in a moment. But you definitely want to get both if you can if you're planning on using her. In all honesty I, I could see her being just an all 5 units if you're, you're, if you're going for it especially if you've got her memento. Uh, just because she's got a um, P defense in her leader skill as well. It's an HP 40, P defense 20, and then it just adds a 20 all attack. I didn't make a graphic for that, I just memorized it. Um, but as you can see here, that snowball is definitely worth having because you want her to get hit a lot and then she counters more and her counter just gets more potent every time. So yeah, I definitely A plus on that. Um, yeah, let's take a look now at her gate 5. Alright, and this is her gate 5. Fiery Challenge becomes Fiery Bulwark, and she gets two extra turns on her P Defense um, buff, and then she also adds Auto Heal, which is nice. It's just, it's just more of what she wants. Um, Asuka wants to not die, as we all do. I guess, and then she also wants more P defense to to power her her P defense scaling moves, and that this provides her with that. Um, if you're limited on shards and you think it might take a long time to get her fully built, um, you might want to 
snag the gate to first. I'm probably going to just give that advice all the time now that I think about it. But if you have like tons of shards of her, like over, you know, say over 200, what is it, 245? However much is the minimum you need to get two and five, get, get five first. And then just five is going to be the one that you want to run into and spam. You'll see in the video that that's what I started with. And just to keep, get that P defense higher, higher, higher. Um, yeah, so that is it. Um, so yeah, my, my recommendation is uh, if you have her and you've invested the shards into her, um, then yeah, just enlighten her as much as you can because she is very, this is a very good kit. Like I know everybody was super jazzed when Teona got the upgrade she needed to become a P defense scaling damage dealer. And you know, I, I don't use her as much as I used to, but even now, like there's times where it comes up and she is just marvelous. So just square that and you've got Asuka. So to all of you using her, I'm, I'm a little, little bit envious, but I'll get her up eventually, assuming I don't get Risa Nator. Um, yeah, so that is it with the, just the raw information. Um, now we will showcase what she can do in a battle. All right, and here we are at the battle. So I'm going to play it a little bit faster because it was like, I don't know, seven minutes long or something. Um, I feel like you could just, you know, just watch the video and you'll see what she's capable of. I, I don't really feel the need to narrate it. So um, I'll just put on a little bit of music and you can watch Asuka as well as some of my other strong fire units just uh, go to town on some robots. So yeah, um, I will say see you next time now and, uh, and enjoy the show.